Today's adventure takes me to Angel Stadium for a little day game excitement. First pitch at 1.07 p.m. One of the things I like about this stadium is parking is only $10 per vehicle. Not a bad deal. 10 bucks per automobile. Also, no cash is accepted inside or at the parking booths. Credit cards only here at Anaheim Angel Stadium. Welcome everyone, Adam made the woo here as of the recording of this. It is Sunday, July 18th, 2021, 11.30 a.m. Gates open 90 minutes prior for batting practice, which means in about seven minutes from where I am speaking right now, gates should open. So I should be getting up there at that time. They are playing the Seattle Mariners, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Actually, they should be scrapped the name from, even though it's located in Anaheim, they've gotten rid of from the name. Now it's just Los Angeles Angels, even though about 30 minutes from LA proper and in Anaheim. It's very confusing, but I am wearing an appropriate cap and I have purchased tickets for less than $10, $9 tickets up in the farthest nether regions of the stadium. I thought it'd be a cool experience during the day. And I have never been to a day game here, so that'll be fun. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? And to be honest, I don't know why I wear my, my hat not completely straightforward. It's always a little bit crooked. Okay, it must be 95 minutes before first pitch because the gates have already opened. Ever since I was a youth, I've always wore my cap tilted just a little bit. Ha old habits. Old habits are hard to break, right? Oh yeah. And my cap is much smaller than this massive. Put it, okay, over here it says the size of the cap. It's a 649 and a half. If you were to, to put this on, you know, Godzilla or King Kong, it says it right up there. 649 and a half. That's a big hat. I really do love this game. And in, in, in my opinion, it is my all-time favorite sport. And I followed basketball a little bit when I was a, a little bit younger and football as well. But really baseball was has always been, you know, it, it's America's pastime. It is it's something I really enjoy. I think it's one of the greatest games. And it's just, it's nice to watch, not only on television, but being only a few miles from the stadium. It's something I, I thought about when I was, you know, over the years, when I was younger, I'd always say, I really wish I could live near a professional baseball stadium. And I got to thinking within the last year or two, I do. Now I have a place on both coasts. I'm about an hour and a half, two hours from Tropicana Field in Tampa Bay, which is technically St. Pete. And I'm about five minutes from Angel Stadium here in Anaheim. Why not go to some games? So that's what I've been doing. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. I'm just going to kind of pepper them in. Plus, it's really exciting that the Angels have one of the best players in the game. <laughs> Oh, someone just a vicious sneeze at the back of the line. Do have to go th through this screening area before heading in, which is a good thing. Making sure everything is good to go. Notice how the awning here, well, the signage is held up by a baseball and three bats on this side and that side. This is the home plate gate that I'm going through made it inside. Now the seats I have chosen and purchased for only $9 are area 504, which would be right over here on the upper deck, not in the far corner. I want to try to get 501 or 502, but they had a couple that were already already filled in. So I picked up here on the very top level where no one was sitting. But I believe once I get up there, these will be very sporadic. No one is really wants these. No one really sits up in this area. Especially during a day game, I imagine the attendance will be a little lower than a night game just because of the heat index and the sun blaring down. So I'm going to try to get over here in this far corner on the farthest, let's just say the worst seats to watch a game in great detail at Angel Stadium. That's kind of the context I'm going for. Now this store down here has, for $100, you can get a game used and team issued jersey. If you got an extra $100. You could get a, a, a game used jersey. That's pretty neat, right? And inside the new era store, kind of like this t-shirt right here. 
with the state, you know, the state with the halo with the, the very chippy top. They also have hats. I've seen hats like that as well. Oh, there's a, a, a camouflage hat. I'm wearing a camouflage shirt. I think that might be a little too much on the cam too much camouflage. And across the way here is the Big A Burger. So you, you can go with the traditional hot dog, but you can also get a hamburger, not just any hamburger, you can get the Big A Burger. The Big Angels Burger. Check that out, I didn't even know this was down here. Even at 11.50 a.m., batting practice was very, very short, if it even happened at all. Yeah, 11.50 a.m., and they had already completely finished up with batting practice. You can see the, the stadium is not filling up too quickly. You know, it's still another hour and 17 minutes till game time first pitch. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it out there, I think. Well, no pun intended, but I'm just gonna say throw it out there. Because you know baseball, you throw a baseball. That it probably won't be a packed stadium during the heat of a Southern California day. My prediction is I won't have too much trouble getting any snacks or beverages. Well, I don't drink, so none of these are really go into, into play when it comes to like hot dogs or anything. Won't have any problem. Now I'll probably forget a little later to even mention this, but as of recording of this, it is technically National Ice Cream Day. So Dippin' Dots is here representing. Got the grounds crew down there doing their thing. I find it very fascinating. Some of the famous faces here with the Angels, of course, Nolan Ryan and Gene Autry, gentlemen who need no introduction. But you know, they're introduced here with their pictures and names on the wall as well as the 2002 World Series champs right down here as well. And Jimmy Reese over there in the corner. Oh, here are some Gold Glove Awards. Wow, I didn't even know these were here in this shop window. There's quite a few Gold Gloves down in there. Whenever a rally is needed, if you have the Rally Monkey, I think that's, I think that's the name of the Rally Monkey. There's also the this little cute little Cute little teddy bear here with the Angels jersey on it. I'm not sure he's a rally bear. I also like all the different, the different, different colored ones here. We got the gray one there, a couple different gray ones. Oh, we also have the, the state bear down there as well. Oh, look at this. It's pretty neat. This like this, this light baby blue. Now I've seen the foam finger saying number one, but I've never seen a foam fish. This is a foam fish. Number 27, Mike Trout, whose jersey is right up there on the wall as well. You know, this is a trout. A fish is a trout. That's very, very creative. Whoop, I'm just drop, dropping the trout. Oh, I am now standing over the, the home plate gate here. This, that's where I walked in. You see the big helmet over in the Don Julio Club. There is a fountain. Wow, yeah, the Don. I'm not allowed in the Don Julio Club. We can kind of peek in. There is a water fountain over there with the Angels A with the halo. Check that out. That's fancy. Oh, and you can get a photo. Well, I can't go past these stanchions, but if I was allowed in there, I could get a photo over there at the Don Julio Club wall. Now, this is a place Steve Urkel would be proud of. Got any cheese? I'm gonna go check out my seats first and then figure out food after that. I am up on the escalator now. No, I'm off the escalator. Had to go up one set of movable stairs and now up another set of movable stairs. Of course, also known as escalator. This is the parking lot. At current time right now, it is 12.12, so it's less than an hour to first pitch. Plenty of parking spots. You can see the Matterhorn, the icy slopes of the Matterhorn from Disneyland off in the distance. I'll zoom in. I know it's a little blurry because I'm kind of doing the extreme zoom, but if you look in the center of the screen, just to the side of that building, that is the Matterhorn. That, how, that is how close Disneyland is to Angel Stadium. With there still being 42, 43 minutes before first pitch, went and found my seat. There was nobody up in these sections, so I decided to take the far corner, all the way to the corner, not my seat, but there's no one up here, just to kind of get the angle of what the farthest seat here at Angel Stadium would be. And as more folks make their way in through this gate, I'm gonna go ahead and get my, I think I'm gonna go find that Big A Burger. Oh, dang though, you know what? This is also kind of kind of tempting. This hot dog stand, they have the angel dog here, they have a bratwurst, they have nachos with extra cheese. Yeah, I don't know that, you know, maybe I'll go with that instead. Okay, this is good, this is on this level, the sweet shop. So because it is National Ice Cream Day, after I have some snacks and meals, I'll come back over here and get myself a, a little scoop of ice cream. I have to go down, back down to the lower level to get to the burger place, but showing the field from this perspective before walking back down one level, just wanna show the seats way off over there in the distance. 
of where I will be sitting, somewhere in that area. And as I head down the ramp, you can see the big A there right off the freeway. The traffic going by and the hills off in the distance. Okay, I found it. I found another one of the Big A burgers. I'm gonna give this a try. They have burgers and fries. Now, since I'm gonna be doing an array of snacks throughout the course of the day, I just went with the single cheeseburger, which was $10. I opted out of the combo, the combo, and I got an extra large Dasani. Six seventy-five is a lot, but it's a it's a it's a whole liter. You know, it's it's game prices are not are not inexpensive, but I, I didn't want to get the fries. The one liter, now, there's a little bit of salt in Dasani, but that's okay. It'll wash down my burger that's in there. I get to the top. There was another escalator, but I decided to just take this, this walkway where no one is utilizing. Oh, they even have some, some chicken sandwiches here at the Coop. Chicken tenders and fries. That's good for future reference. There's also a brew house. Taking my walk back over to the seat. All right, let's just see how this big A burger really is. I have to admit, this is a pretty tasty burger. It kind of has like a secret sauce. I don't want to call it like a, similar to like a Big Mac sauce. It is now 107. First pitch, and I gotta say, the stands have filled up quite a bit. In fact, there are quite a few people. I gotta hand it to everyone down there in the lower levels out in the at the, at the 1 p.m. sun. It is, yeah, it's it's toasty down there. Gotta hand it to them. Woo! Now, just to give an example, I was sitting on that second deck up over on the on the third base side two weeks ago against the Orioles, and right there on the ledge of the second level up. $100, $100 tickets versus the $9 where I'm at. I kind of wonder how much the ones right down there field level next to the next to the dugout would cost. Also, oh, also I moved up a few seats. At some point during the game, I might move over to the first base side up on that little upper deck as well. As of this moment, these are the AL West standings. See both teams that are playing today are kind of, kind of about in the same boat right there in the middle. Ah, just got a double play. Nice, Angels got a double play against the Mariners. Oh, the ball's out in the outfield now. What happened? Somebody got themselves a souvenir. There is something really relaxing about a baseball game. Add in the fact that I have plenty of elbow room and there's really no one around me. There's a few people in this area, but not too many. Plenty of space. For the $9, I kind of don't dislike it. I kind of don't hate it. I do enjoy good seats, being able to see the game up close and personal. But for the drastic price difference to be from this distance, still tell what's going on, I'm kind of into it. It's kind of it's kind of a nice little vibe every once in a while to not have the perfect seats and kind of be away from the action. And in the shade. I'm liking it, I'm digging it. Now don't get me wrong, over time I will get some of the outfield seats or even along the first base, oh there's a pop-up, along the first base line or even behind home plate some of the more pricey seats yeah i just kind of want to mix things up a bit and also i believe these up here might be nine dollar seats too which is a little bit closer to the to the action all the upper deck here or worst case you could just kind of slide over on a, a day game where there's not a lot of a lot of people occupying the seats taking care of business kind of have those little sliders that go across the dirt to pave out the dirt Keep it all smooth down there. You can see the portals there where the fireworks will go out or emitted from. If there's ever a home run or during player introduction at the beginning. What's interesting to me is the grass on either side, the AstroTurf, where there could be more seats. Maybe it has to be with, it has to be with an issue with the you know the pyrotechnics. You don't want to be sitting too close to that. But that is a, a lot of open space where. If there's a home run hit, and hit, no one can get to it. Justin Scard? All right, says get loud. Everyone's getting a little loud. This could be good. I'm noticing a lot of people are heading up away from the elements. A lot of the, the shaded areas are now filling up. People that have tickets down there. Oh, that was a strike. Which does make sense because it is nice and cool up here in comparison. But usually it's everyone takes the more inexpensive seats up here and moves down. It seems like everyone that's down there for the first few innings is moving up to the, the less inexpensive seats just to get out of the sun. Oh, struck him out. 
Heading's over. You never want to leave the bases loaded in that kind of position. By the way, someone else has procured the spot I was in earlier. See, it was just kind of shifting seats. Uh, speaking of home runs, Mariners just hit a home run. Into that little area there where anybody in the stands cannot recover it. Quite a bit of booze happening. And the home run ball was was gotten by this employee down here. Oh, there was a foul ball and someone reached over the, the edge there, almost got it. Someone's getting a souvenir. Oh, it looks like the home run ball was handed to someone in the bullpen. Right there. That's pretty nice. They could give it to whoever hit the home run. Given back to the Mariners, someone on the pitching in the bullpen over there. will probably give it to his teammate. It's always good when you hit a home run to get the, the ball back as a player. Doesn't happen often. I'm now eyeballing the next seat I would like to move over to. Not behind home plate on the upper deck, but I'm kind of visually thinking about over here. It was just a base hit by the Mariners also. This is a look at some of the outfield seats, kind of from this angle. See, there's no one sitting in this section because it's so sunny. I could move right down there. If I so chose. If I wanted to go right down there, I could, but it's it's a little too warm for that. Just gonna make my way around this way. Okay, I've kind of reached the far end over here by the scoreboard. Yeah, take a look. The seats I want to get are gonna be up here. Where I was was on that other far corner. Zoom into where I was just seating. Right over in there. Mariners home run, same area. The same little grassy astroturf area. Dang. I'm pretty happy, however, that there are lots of food options on all the levels, even kind of near the upper upper deck levels. I'll go get myself a hot dog now and maybe another one of those waters. There we go, into this section now, 538 to 540. Ended up getting some nachos, and I got one of those Hoffy dogs. It's a little bit of booing. Some booing happening as I make my way to the top. Not sure what play just happened, that it caused everyone to be booing, but you can see this area is kind of filled up a little bit too. Just in the short few minutes that I took me to walk from over there, everyone kind of has the same general idea. Something I really, really, really love about having all this space is I can spread everything out. I can put all the condiments on my hot dog. I got my nacho cheese here. I got my onions, even have my yellow mustard, and I even have my chips. Check out the train going by over there. Wow, that's cool. Gonna be able to see it and have some of the stats as he's up to bat. Named AL Player of the Week on July 6th. Cheers are being had saying, eat that hot dog, Adam. Get that hot dog. Those cheers work for me. Oh, you still want me to eat that this hot dog? All right. I've got a couple bites. Oh, uh, never mind. I thought they were cheering for at the hot dog thing again. Sixth inning now. Loaded up the nachos. Got a little jalapenos, a little cheese. There we go. Well, cheers to the field with these nachos. Yeah, they're really even, you know, next to me here. There's no one, really no one sitting there. Oh, I got, I got, I got my water. Got the jalapeno on there. Maybe we'll get a strikeout. Get my taste buds start, start to get a little jalapeno taste. Do you ever contemplate what some of the outfielders are thinking about the entire game? Standing around out there. Now they are getting into the position. 
obviously. They are paying a lot of attention, but they do have a lot of time with their thoughts. But the infield does as well. There seems to be a little bit more action in the infield than the outfield sometimes. They probably get a lot of banter from those in the in the bleachers. Oh, there goes a there goes a dove. Look at that. A, a, a dove going by. Look at it, it's circling the stadium. It's coming back this way. It's coming back this way. The dove, look. Look at this, it's, it's heading up here for my nachos. Okay, it's gone. As of right now, Angels are down six to zero. Oh yeah. Seven inning stretch just happened. Ah, stretching the old arms and legs. You know, I whip them over there over there if I walk and stretch a little bit that way, but seventh inning stretch just happened. Okay, now it's time. The sweet shop. I'm gonna get myself a helmet Sunday. I have procured a Sunday helmet with the Angels logo on there, even though it's upside down. This reminds me of Dairy Queen back in the day. When I was a lot younger, I would get the, the Dairy Queen helmets. I had quite a collection. I'm also going down to the middle level. I opted for the swirl. Chocolate and vanilla mix. Get the sprinkles. You know, truthfully, that ice cream's really tasty. Ice cream is really good. Area, there's signs saying do not go past that subject to arrest if you go over that fence don't do it this would also be a good spot to kind of stand in the shade and just wait for a home run ball you know if there was a home run ball Woo! so this is what it's like to sit in the sun this is a good spot to, to catch some home run balls assuming a home run ball is hit out my way nope the possibility though. Ninth inning. Maybe luck will go my way. Home run ball. Right in my direction. Can you imagine? Definitely wasn't going to get one up there. Nor up there. Maybe right here. It's hot here. It's, it's warm. The sun is permeating. This is the last chance for the Angels to pull through. Down seven to two. Three outs left. The game is over. Angels just got a base hit. There's a man on first, no outs. I'm out here in the outfield. Other side of the outfield. I was over there a minute ago. And now I'm over here. I could be sitting, but I'm just standing. I might keep moving, and a home run might go my way. Now at two outs, Otani's up. Could get the last out, or could deliver a little magic. A foul ball off to the side there. He hit one out here, I'd be fine with that. Oh, there it is! There it is! Oh, I was over there! I was over there! Woo, I moved too, too soon! I was in that spot! My camera battery died, so I pulled my phone out because I knew something was going to happen. So now I'm back to using my, my G7X, but I used that last clip on my, on my iPhone. It's now seven to four. Still two outs, though. But that was exciting. Enough to get Seattle worried enough to have the bullpen, a little activity in the bullpen. There are, however, two strikes. Oh yeah, getting hot and heavy in the bullpen. Ooh, that's it. That's the game. Struck him out. That, oh, this guy's stoked. Did have a little excitement there towards the end though, so that was pretty cool. That was a fun day. That's gonna do it. Also, they're doing a little 
a little post-game wrap-up here underneath the large cap. Again, that's going to do it for today from Angel Stadium here in Anaheim, California. The Los Angeles Angels no longer in the name of Anaheim, but they are in Anaheim. Day game. It's It ran a little late. It was... Yeah, it was a lengthy time. It is now 4.43 p.m. for the nine innings. So it went, it went a little lengthy. I'm wearing the old school cap there as well, even though it's a new cap, but it has the, it's like the throwback style with the, the lowercase a with the halo on it. Yeah, fun. I got to kind of wander around. I had the worst seats anywhere in the stadium. It'll be that, the far end on both the first and third base side, went to both pinnacles. And then I just kind of wandered around. There will be more, other teams, other stadiums. Just something I like to pepper in from time to time. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.